Hey everyone, my name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to automate Instagram posts with Node.js and the Instagram private API. So just before we get started, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out. Give this video a like and comment down below, um, you know, where you're from, what kind of projects you're working on. I'll definitely uh, try to reply to every single comment that comes through. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to hearing for you, from you. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be creating a essentially an Instagram bot that uh, posts with Node.js and the Instagram private API. Um, as always, I've created a blog post. So this is the link to this one will be in the description below, but this has got all the code that we're gonna need for this uh, application. So you'll be able to find that one and copy it over. Uh, and just before we get started, I just wanted to give you an example of a essentially an Instagram bot. Uh, so I run this game called Where Taken, and it's very similar to Wordle and Wordle. You have to guess the country based on an image. So today's was El Salvador. I've already guessed this one here. Um, but this um, game has an Instagram account. So I actually just created it just today. So it's only got zero followers. It was only a couple of hours ago. Uh, but this is just one of um, any Instagram bots that I've created. And what this one is going to do is it's going to post yesterday's photo. So basically just, you know, getting a following for my game. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get into the uh, the video. All right, so let's go on to step one. So step one is to install Node. So I'm assuming you've already got this one installed, but just in case, I've got a link here to install it. Uh, and if you just want to check if it's installed, you can just run Node V in your terminal. So I'll quickly do that one and I've got version 16.14.2 installed. All right, so let's go on to step two. So let's create our node application. So I'll copy that one over and that'll create our package.json file. And what we'll do is we'll install all the packages that we're gonna need. So we're gonna need this one called Instagram private API. And that one will uh, install. We're gonna need request promise. So I'll just give that one a second. Cool, so install that one. We install .env because we're gonna be using environment variables. Uh, we'll install cron because we're gonna be using cron jobs uh, in this one here. And also express because we will add that right at the end. Cool, so that's all our uh, packages installed. So we'll jump back to the blog post and step three is to create a .env file and we're gonna load in our environment variables. So I'll copy this one over and I'll create a .env file. <clears throat> and we're gonna need two uh, environment variables. It's gonna be the IG or Instagram username and Instagram password. So obviously I'll load those ones in uh, off camera. But let's go on to step four. So step four, we're gonna, well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a index.js file and we're gonna log into Instagram using the Instagram private API. Uh, so we can um, come back here and create our index.js file. And yeah, we're basically you know, making sure that we can use environment variables. We're requiring the, we're, we're pulling in the Instagram API client and get from request promise. And we'll come down here and we're gonna create this function called post to Insta. And this is gonna get bigger and bigger as we go along in the steps. But the first thing we need to do is to log into Instagram. So I'm gonna put this one here. And yeah, so it creates a constant variable and it's gonna create a new Instagram API client. Uh, it's gonna generate this device here. So it essentially creates like a uh, an Android device that it's gonna log in through and you know we can post through, through that. And then we're gonna log in to our account with our username and our password. So we'll go on to step five. So step five is to download the image into the buffer or into a buffer uh, ready for upload. So we're gonna add to our post to Insta um, function and we'll copy this one over. 
and we'll put this one here. So it's essentially going to um, sort of read into the, this buffer here, this image here. And if we go into this image here, it's an image of me looking very, very suspicious, uh, saying, don't forget to subscribe. So that's the uh, image that we're gonna upload uh, onto our Instagram page. Um, we'll come back here. Uh, now, just really quickly, if you uh, or if you have your image locally, you can click on this link here and there's an example in the official docs of how to do it um, if that image is saved locally. But I'm going to assume that your image is hosted somewhere. Uh, mine is hosted on Imager. So this, that's this one here. And our final step is to post that to Instagram. So I'll grab this one here and I'll put this one here. I'll get rid of this little comment. Cool, so it's basically, you know, our Instagram uh, constant, uh, .publish .photo, and it takes in an object, and there's two parameters here. So there's file, so this is going to be our image buffer that we got here, and it's going to be a caption. So this one is going to be a really nice photo from the internet, but this could be whatever you want. So I'll save that and save that. Um, and yeah, this uh, photo method takes in other parameters. So we'll just jump onto the documentation. And if I scroll down here and look at this one here, this one's also taking a location and uh, they've got the location sort of from here. And it also takes in user tags. So if you wanna have a look into that, that is there on the official docs. So now we're ready to run this function and it will post to our Instagram account. So I'll jump over here and I will actually call this function. So post to Insta. Cool. And I've already gone into my .env file off camera and I've loaded in my uh, password and my um, username. So the username is gonna be where taken. So it's going to be this one here. So we're gonna post it to this location here and I'll come into my terminal here and I will run this one. So give that a second. Cool, so that'll take a second to log in and, and uh, actually post the photo, but yeah, that is done. So we can jump back over to here and we'll refresh the page. And you can see that that image has been posted with our caption, Really nice photo from the internet. And remember, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, so now we will jump back to here. And the last couple of steps are just creating a cron job and uh, adding Express to our um, application. So basically just getting this production ready. So if you haven't heard of cron jobs before, it's basically a, like a scheduled task that will run uh, at, at, at any given time. So I'm not gonna explain cron jobs too much, but We'll come back to our application and we will add uh, cron job and we will add this code here at the bottom and I'll explain this in just a second. So we'll take this one off here. Um, so yeah, we've created this cron job. So this is the syntax for the cron job and this code will, well, this job will run every 30 seconds. Uh, if I change this up a little bit, because obviously we don't really want this running every 30 seconds. Uh, if I wanted to run this at, actually that's not it, 5.30 a.m. every single day, I would put in this syntax here. Uh, but yeah, this cron job syntax does get confusing, but there's a couple of links here. I've got a link to some documentation on cron job, so you can have a look at that. And there is this tool here called um, crontab, uh, yeah, crontab guru. And you can just play around with this. So, you know, if this was, you know, 4.30 every single day, um, if we had star here and we had like star divided by 20, so every 20th minute, so every 20 minutes, this would run. Uh, so they're cron jobs, but I'll, I'll let you sort of have a look into that. Uh, so we'll jump back to the documentation. Um, and step eight is adding express Express. So this is optional, but if you want to host this application on a hosting platform like Heroku, um, you need to add Express to this app. And this is because uh, Heroku needs a process to attach to. And if there's no Express app running, it'll freak out. So 
really simple. It's essentially just adding this code here to our app. So we can add it right at the top and I'll save that one. So if I ran this one here, obviously it's not going to post to Instagram because I've got a cron job running, uh, but you can see that this um, uh, little express app is running. So this could run up on a server. Cool. Uh, and here is the final code just in case you wanted to um, yeah, get the final code there. Uh, but that is it. That brings us to the end of the video. Uh, and that's how you um, post to Instagram using Node.js. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I bring out quite a few coding videos.